It has indeed begun. You are at the number one live podcast in the world, and it just so happens to be here in Austin, Texas. I'm going to pull a name out of the bucket for the first time here tonight. This is, could be a complete stranger. could be somebody's first time ever on the show. might be their first time doing stand-up. might be great. might get crazy. They're going to do 60 seconds, and then we interview them. You guys ready for this shit? Yeah. All right. Your first bucket pull goes by the name of Noah Shark Robertson. Here we go. Oh, wow. He's right there. Kill Tony! I'm gonna f let's fucking party. I'm gonna get naked and fight somebody tonight. Fight this guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just the Viking in me coming out. Uh, nobody makes it to Valhalla unless they die in battle. Am I right? Yeah. This this chick knows what I'm talking about. Um, so I turned 38 this year, and my coping mechanisms are fucked. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. My ex fiance cheated on me with a married man, and then she stole my car. Yeah, I had the same reaction. Meh. A guy cut me off on the Taco Bell drive through the other night, and I was like, why does God hate me? <laughs> True story. Uh, anybody have any crazy exes in here? Crazy ex-girlfriends? Crazy ex-boyfriends? Yes, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I had a girlfriend that would search my bed for other women's hairs. Uh, and whenever she didn't find anything, she came at me like, oh, hell no. Nah. Who are these bald-headed bitches you've been fucking? <laughs> All right, yeah, that's all I got. Wow. I didn't see that one coming. Obviously, it was a, hopefully it was a black girl that you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. How often do you do that? You don't, you don't seem like the kind that would uh, hook up with a black girl. You seem like the kind that would uh, like march the other way. On a... <laughs> well, I have a huge cock, so. Whoa, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Did you use it to ram the doors open on the Capitol on January 6th? No, I did not. Wow. This is your first time on the show, correct? It's my second time. Oh, okay. All the right. First time was in Hollywood. Okay. And you fucks made me battle Joel on the drums. Oh, wow. You know how to play the drums? I'm a professional drummer, yes. Really? How did yeah. that go for you that night? I gotta be honest. Uh, you asked the audience to vote, uh -huh. and I clearly won. Oh. But, really? Yes, yes, but Joel got pissed, and he wanted a rematch, and the stick flew out of my hand on the second try. Oh, wow. so you lost. I, I, so I, I lost, yes. I do remember this, though. That, that was like one of the few close... I'm sure, that I'm sure that a lot of the viewers at home uh, uh, would be interested to see perhaps you... Try again. I mean, uh. it has been a long time since we've had a Mexican drum off. Do you guys think we should wow. do it here tonight? Wow. All right. Then destiny has spoken, everybody. Wow. <laughs> yep, okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this means that Noah Shark Robertson, who believes that he should basically... Be the drummer of Kill Tony by saying that he beat Joel Jimenez, which definitely never happened. I've been at every episode of this show, believe it or not. And, uh, um, but maybe he came close. So this is the rules of the Mexican drum off, is you guys at the end decide who wins. If he has a better drum solo than our resident drummer, Mexican drummer himself, the great Michael Gonzalez, then technically by rule, he would become the full-time drummer of Kill Tony. Uh, so it is the opportunity of a lifetime. And it also means that he has to switch lives with Michael Gonzalez. So what do you do for work, Noah? Uh, I'm a drummer. I book comedy and metal shows. Well, there you go. You're going to have to book metal shows if you lose, yeah. Michael. Is a drummer. This is a Mexican drum off. Are you guys ready for this shit? This is Kill Tony folklore. And I do believe, if I'm not wrong, Michael, I believe this is the first Mexican drum off ever at Vulcan Gas Company, right? Wow, this is very exciting. This is the drum solo, fighting for his throne, professional drummer, make some noise for Noah Shark Robertson.
Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. That's Noah Shark Robertson. Now, Noah, you go stand by that speaker for a second right there so that everybody can get a good view at your competition. Standing in at an unbelievably Mexican four foot seven inches in the air. The pride of uh, the South Texas p- portion of the Kill Tony band. I mean, this is a guy that filled in tremendously for the legendary Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and has always been there. And he's undefeated, defending his throne. Ladies and gentlemen, how about one more time for Michael Gonzalez, everybody? <laughs> Chimney crickets. All right. Well, this is it. This is that moment where you control it, a bunch of fucking randos, everybody. How many of you have Noah Shark Robertson winning? Make some noise if you have Michael Gonzalez winning. I mean, you must hear this, Noah. There you go. There you go. There you go. You must know that you just had got it fucking handed to you, dude. I understand. But that was really good again, man. It like, was. seriously. It was. Thank you. It was. Not the first time, not the first time I've seen a Mexican make it through a wall before. Uh, Noah Shark. So you book metal bands? Is that your thing? I book comedy shows. I book metal shows. Uh, I tour professionally as a drummer. Mm-hmm. Um... I teach you, kids how to play rock and roll. Wow. Who the fuck lets you near their kids? That is do, you, do you have a band? Do you have a band? Yeah, I'm in a few bands. Uh, pretty. They're currently here in Austin? Uh, well, I'm from Dallas. I drove here from Dallas. What well, if you would ever like to do the secret show, I'd love to have you open up as a band if you have yeah, 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 okay. a All right. What's so... All right. Wow. <laughs> uh, uh, is right. So do you have a girlfriend, Noah? Uh, I just broke up with her recently. And why'd that happen? Uh, I don't know. Reasons. A lot of, a lot of. Oh, okay. A lot of different All things. Right. Domestic violence. Perfect. Uh, uh, <laughs> and is it true that your fiance cheated on you with a married man? Uh, that is very true. Wow. Yes. How did they meet? How did that happen? Uh, How did actually, you find out? I was on tour uh, with a band, and she was our merch girl. And uh, a lot of a lot of guys like to come up to the merch girl and hit on her. Uh-huh. Uh. I guess they exchanged numbers or something. I was driving down the road, pulling a van and trailer with like a bunch of sweaty, smelly dudes in the van. Yeah. Her phone was like going off like crazy. She was next to me in the seat, wasted, uh-huh. asleep. Her phone was blowing up, and I guess I'm a dick, and I like pushed the button, and suddenly some guy's cock popped up on the screen. Wow. That's a totally, that's a totally different thing, though. Uh, I threw her phone out the window, and while she was still passed out, I took my fucking engagement ring off her finger. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Wow. Wow. Uh, This is a real story, yeah. How do you know it wasn't just, like, one of her girlfriends fucking with her or something? Like, Because once I saw the guy's cock, I scrolled a little bit, and I saw all their conversations about how they were going to meet up soon after the tour and fuck and all this shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hell, yeah. What did his cock look like? Uh, <laughs> smaller than mine, I'll tell you that. Oh shit! Damn! <laughs> wow, she left you for a smaller cock. That almost 
<laughs> Says it all, doesn't it? That is, yeah, that, that is kind of shitty. I need to. Really is the motion in the ocean after all. Yeah. Wow. What's wrong uh, with your personality? It was probably because he was Mexican. I think is it was. Me- that, is I think, that yeah, true? Was, was Mexican, it a Mexican so. penis? Uh, they're, yeah. They're, wow. They're better at hitting the skins. <laughs> you gotta stop fucking with Mexicans, dude. It's not going good for yeah, you. Yeah, it's not. I'm just losing my drum career, my chicks to Mexicans. But it, you're, you, this <laughs> was too. fun, Noah. You're a, you're, a, you're a fun character. I love your enthusiasm and your excitement. You get it, my friend. There he goes, Noah Shark Roberts and everybody. Take a joke, Buck. You see how it works. Put the mic stand where you found it, Noah. For a guy that works with metal and comedy, you'd think you'd know that. Maybe if you were a better roadie, your chicks wouldn't get their guts banged out by little dick Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Come on, people. I love this shirt. It's Monday, baby. You're about to get catfish, bro. (laughs) This motherfucker never saw it coming. Hey, will you pitch in for my airline ticket? It's going to be that last comedian that was up here that shows up to the fucking lunch. I'm sorry, I got to tell you, my real name's Noah Shark Robertson. I never lived in New Zealand to begin with, but I can beat your ass on drums. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) 